In this question, we're presented with a triangle where points A, B, C are on the circumference of a circle, center O. We have one angle on the triangle. Uh, we have a shaded segment here, which has an area that we're given as 200 centimeters cubed. And they ask us to find the radius of this circle, giving our answer to three significant figures. Um, so we want the radius, so it's going to be worth drawing that on. Um, but just looking at the question, if we've got a question involving a segment here, um, it would help to actually have two radii drawn on here to actually represent the sector of which the segment is part of. Um, now, just by drawing that on, I can now see I have a circle theorem going on here because I have, going up from points B and C, sorry, A and C, I have 75 degrees on the circumference, so the angle at the centre here must be double that. So that's 150 degrees, so I'm going to write that on. Do I need to state my reasoning for that? No, it doesn't say state any reasoning, so I don't need to do that. Um, but the reasoning would be angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. Um, so now I have this, I could actually write an, an expression for the area of this um, sector here. Okay, my radius I don't know, so I'm going to just label that as R. But the area of sector, so area of the sector, um, which is AOC, is equal to 150 over 360, so it's the fraction of the circle that I've got, multiplied by pi times the radius squared. I don't know what the radius is. Let's simplify this just a little bit. Uh, so 150 over 360 is the same as 5 over 12. So I've got 5 pi r squared over 12. Now, I can also write an expression for the area of this triangle AOC. So let's do that. So area of triangle AOC. Now remember, I know the two sides, either side of the angle 150. So I can use my area of a triangle rule, which is a half. Um, AB, which is R times R, so R squared, sine of 150. And sine of 150 is equal to 1 half, so I have a half R squared multiplied by a half, and that gives you R squared over 4, so that is the area of my triangle AOC. Now, I know that if I have my sector and I take away my triangle, I will be left with the area of my shaded segment, which is 200. So I can write an equation. So to summarize that, I have my area of my uh, segment is equal to the uh, area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So 200 is equal to 5 pi r squared over 12 minus r squared over 4. Let's uh, tidy up the right-hand side here. Um, so what have we got? We can take the um, r squared out. That's a common factor, and that's what I'm trying to find. So I've got r squared in brackets 5 pi over 12 minus 1 over 4 equals 200. So my radius squared is equal to 200 divided by this horrible thing here, 5 pi over 12 minus 1 over 4. So let's just tidy up the left-hand side on my calculator, see what answer I get. So this results in 188.8579585. I have to give an answer to three significant figures, so... I really want my workings to go to at least four. I've written down everything on my calculator, and I'm leaving the number in the calculator to do the next calculation, which is to square root it. So R is simply the square root of that. So 188.8579585. Uh, and once I square root that on my calculator, then I should get the correct answer. And my calculator says 13.7425 and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, rounding to three significant figures, that is 13.7, because the 4 there um, does not affect the 7, does not make the 7 change. So it's 13.7, and that will be centimetres. So with this question, it is always worth drawing in extra lines, writing in the radius that you know, 
forming these triangles and looking at the relationship between basically these three parts here, the uh, sector, the triangle, and the segment.